This is the story of how a single clutch dump put the rest of our season at risk. Let's rewind a little bit and go back to what started this all. This all started with Mike designing a new livery for the Drift Corvette with Renspec Industries. Yeah, I think because if we do something on the quarter with the white border, then it's going to add even more white to it. That's kind of, I think, what I'm wanting. I'm literally just thinking which one is more white. What'd you just do, Mike? Design, design a race car. After finalizing the livery design, Mike would start the process of taking off the old fender. I hate this car so much! What happened to your mic? Well, if, if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, it's time to make the car look good. So we're gonna take it over to Renspec Industries. Uh, Kevin's gonna hook it up a little wrap action and we're gonna do some over fenders. So, kinda got a little in over my head here, but it's gonna look sick. While the teardown process was started early, we would have to wait another week until the new fenders arrived. We've got all the quarters taken off. The new body kit is in a box. Livery design, probably about halfway done. The wheels, a new color. And now it's just get the quarters on and get the car together. Fun fact, removing all the stuff for a wrap is a lot of work. So next time someone sees how much a wrap costs, keep in mind it's like 12 hours of work just to get it ready. And I just decided to do it myself. These are OEM spec. Uh, ZR1 fronts, OEM spec, and the rears are Z06 OEM spec. Interesting. So I think it's like an inch, inch and a half wider. Why did you go for ZR1 fronts and Z06 rears instead of Z06 as a whole or ZR1 as just a whole? The ZR1 fronts kind of look sick. Uh, and also is the only thing that was in stock at the time. Z06 rears are pretty standard, so there's not really a lot of options. Like, I think they're all the same, but in all reality, it was just whatever's in stock that was an over fender is what I bought. And the car is still gonna kind of be more subtle. Like, I'm not doing some crazy flashy body stuff. Primarily, they were good quality and they were in stock. That was the two things, and I just wanted overs. But the OEMs are very hard to find now and probably really a expensive. lot more expensive. So considering we're probably gonna hit stuff, it made more sense to get things that are cheaper to break. Basically, it looks like it just needs the holes drilled out. Yeah, overall, it's... Wow. Not bad. So when we take the car up, are these panels staying on the car? So the quarters will stay on the car, the bumpers will probably be off. It kind of looks sick. Leave it like this, Mike. Hard pass. <laughs> Same project garage. We're not out here halfway doing shit. Do it with the whole ass. The whole ass. All ass or no ass. After test fitting the fenders, Mike would spend the next few days prepping the car for a drop off at Renspec later in the week. Loading her up. Where are we taking her, Mike? H Town. H Town. We're gonna go drifting. Just kidding. Can get this car wrapped. Did you say it took about a week from the fenders getting here to taking it to the wrap shop? If that. If that. <laughs> Fender showed up what? Tuesday? Was yeah. On Friday? Yeah. Three hours later, we arrived at Renspect and decided to check out some of the projects they were working on in the shop. The 
process is ridiculously simple when you're dealing with professionals. You got a pretty good handle on how to get things laid out. Gabby's awesome. She basically designed my whole car. Kevin obviously knows what he's doing. And then the fact that he's very familiar with Corvettes, I think we're in good hands. So I am nothing more than stoked, excited, and now already impatient because I can't wait to pick this thing up and uh, let freedom ring. After a successful drop-off, we headed back home in anticipation of the final results of the car. Let's just say, Renspec did not disappoint. I think that's my favorite part. Huh? I think that's my favorite, like, The section. stripe? Like, this section right here is by far my favorite part. <laughs> the flag, tears, the 52, it's sick. Dude, I like it. Like I said, I laid that first side and I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. With Kevin and Mike working on the livery in the shop, I would go on a side quest to see how the livery was made in the first place. After finishing my side quest, the Corvette is starting to look like a real race car. What's the strategy for wrapping this? Well, ideally, it would be nice to do it on the car. Mm -hmm. But when I do this on the car, it's either going to move and scratch the wrap and cause me more work, mm -hmm. or I kind of struggle with it for a little bit on my lap, and it would be okay. It's okay to be okay. <laughs> hey, man. That's, that's real. <laughs> Just as we are reaching the final stretch of the livery, this happens. After all the obstacles we faced today, the car came out amazing. Okay, Mike, how do you feel about this amazing work of art? I'm still extremely pumped about this car. I was ridiculously excited when I saw the first picture. I was even more excited when I saw it in person, and it just keeps getting better. It's, it's wild. I'm gonna like it even more after I put it all together, but it's sick. Kevin killed it, Gabby killed it. A little hurricane delay, worth every minute. It's sick. After a successful day at Renspec, we pack up the car in preparation of the Dreamers of Drift event. Thank you for making an awesome vehicle. Thanks for bringing <laughs> it over here. It's one thing to see something in a render, it's a completely another thing to see it fully done up. That's still, every time we do, uh, I see a render, and then I see the render turn into like a real car, it's still so crazy to me that that was a 2D picture and now it's not. Also, these panels fit really well. You remember the rears fit really good. The rears were nuts, but the fronts even looked good. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. You guys about your lights? Enjoy it. No, it's all good. Hey, it's been my, my last week or so. Power on, power off. Any final words on this amazing vet? The car is sick and in typical uh, my video fashion, it was hot outside again and the power went out. So again, I got sticky and sweaty and hot. But it's so worth it, because this car is so sick. It looks so good. Knocked it out of the park. Big thanks to Rensbeck, Kevin, and Gabby. Head northwest on Shaker Thanks guys west. for everything. Then turn left on I'm so Shaker happy. Lane. how amazing the Corvette came out, it is only fair that we send this car sideways. With the boy!
just as the party was getting started, things would take a turn for the worse. We don't. What'd you do? I don't know yet. It looked good. Big sad. Big sad. So, what did you feel? Uh, with the clutch out, it was going, and then when I let the clutch out again, it didn't go. So, uh, no. Somewhere between here and here doesn't work anymore. So, it goes too hard. That's why. Everybody keeps telling the mic. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> Of course it's the first event with delivery and Mike breaks the car. Let's just hope it's as simple as we think it is. <laughs> 